Say hi, everybody. Hi. Baby, say hi, everybody. Mm. Say hi. Mm. Say bye bye. Bye. Say I love you. Hey. I love you. Hey. Head and shoulders, knees and toes. Knees and toes. Here, watch this. Watch. <sighs> you did. Here, you take a drink. Whoop. Is it my ink pen? My pencil. <gasps> what is that? Can you say pencil? Pencil. It's a pencil. Tell everybody. Show everybody the pencil. Say pencil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good enough. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch that. Who take a drink? <sighs> you want a drink? Try to get <laughs> you do it. Okay. I know, right? It's a light. <laughs> it is. Hey, you want to say a prayer? See, put your hands together. Here. Put your hands together. Amen. Good job. All right, tell everybody bye bye. Baby. Boom and kisses. Mm. Say, I love you. Mm. Hello, everybody. Word from the wood shop number 14. Coming to you a little bit late today. I've had a pretty busy couple of days, actually. So, trying to, to get my word from the wood shop out sometime today. So, I don't know when it will upload and when you will get it. So, uh, just I wanted to hopefully give you some encouraging words today uh, that hopefully will be meaningful to you. Um, as you just seen previous, uh, before I started by myself, you saw my, uh, my grandbaby sitting here on my lap, and I was having her do some, some uh, imitation. And Maya right now is two years old and she's imitating everything. I mean, she's imitating words and walking and playing and making noises. You know, taking a, taking a drink and going, ah, that kind of thing. She imitates everything. So you have to be really careful what you do around her because if, you know, she sees it, she's going to imitate it. And one of the things that, that I think is pretty neat is, uh, Usually, when we're all here for supper time, we all stand in the kitchen and and uh, we have uh, a prayer, and then everybody gets their food and comes back and eats. And Maya now, by watching us, will actually put her hands together, which you have seen, um, uh, taking Jesus for her food, and then she goes, "Man, man!" And that is all done through teaching and imitation. Um, kids pick up what they see. Uh, they learn to speak uh, by what they hear. They learn to react by what they, they see and, and feel. And, you know, with the baby, uh, little kids, uh, they're like sponges. They, they just feed all of us and, and off of us. We imprint each one of them uh, in a positive way or a negative way. And I got to thinking about that uh, today. Um, you know, Maya is imitating us and she's a lot of fun and it might seem, you know, just really just, you know, uh, simple and easy right now. But we as adults need to learn to imitate. Um, and that's to imitate Jesus. We, uh, we adults sometimes have a hard time uh, learning new things or changing bad habits or you know taking something maybe in scripture that's really really difficult and applying it because uh it's, it's sometimes it's just quite honest with you it's hard to do and so i think we as people need to be imitators of jesus uh wherever we go and, and i work at this i i really do i i work at it uh it's not something that comes naturally as I'm getting older I think it was becoming easy in some ways and not in some ways but we need to be imitators of Jesus at, at our work in our families at ball games uh, when we're on the street meeting people 
of a, a church. It's easy to be an imitator at church, you know. Everybody's together for one purpose, but we need to be imitators 24-7, and that's hard to do. And the best way that you can learn how to imitate um, Jesus is to actually study Jesus and how he handles people and how he handles adversity, how he handles change, how he handles a lot of different things, uh, how he handled persecution and you know and the, what he went through was just uh, un unimaginable. But we can dig into the scripture text and learn to imitate Jesus. I heard a saying years ago, if you don't know what to say or do, do what love requires you to do. And that's what Jesus does and did and still is doing. So as we you know, grow up and as we get adults, middle age, older adults, it doesn't matter. Our goal is to be imitators of Jesus. And I was thinking about that this morning because I, I did a funeral for a really, really neat older guy I've got to know over the past number of years. And he was just quiet, solid, sincere high levels of character, integrity, hardworking. And I saw Jesus in his life and how he treated his family, how he treated the community. And, and that's our goal. Our goal is to be imitators. And I got a scripture verse for you. Ephesians 5, 1 and 2 says this, Therefore be imitators of God as beloved children. Walk in love just as Christ also loved you. So here we have this heavenly father, here we have this heavenly daddy that we need to be learning to imitate and be like. And, and uh, having Maya on my lap trying to do this, I didn't know if it would work or not. She did it a little bit. Uh, then she got a little distracted by the lights and the fans and then she had to bring her back in. But she's imitating us. And it's very important for us to give her the, the best positive person, mom, dad, papu, juju, that we can give her because she is like a sponge just soaking up everything and we need to be that way as as believers we need to be imitators of jesus and if you if you look at people through that lens and you 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 look at your actions through that through that lens uh we all probably could use a little work at this especially right now when things are you know full of unrest and and everything's divisive and everybody's hating on everybody uh, what a great opportunity for the church to be imitators of Jesus. And, uh, you know, sometimes that's hard to do. Anyway, that's my word for today. Uh, hopefully you can uh, you know, get a little uh, encouragement from it and, and be an imitator. Uh, if you're not very good at that, work at it. Uh, set some goals for yourself. Set some maybe accountability person to help you do that. Um, maybe, you know, you need that in your parenting or in your marriage. Uh, there's all kinds of resources. You know, call me if you need some help and accountability. I'll be glad to 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 help you with that. But it's going to be important. Um, our kids, they're imprinted by what we what we say and do. Um, and let's be imprinted by what Jesus said and done. And then that way they can have the best example possible. I love you. Be strong, and and hopefully uh, you'll be a great imitator today. God bless.